Hey divas, this is Anna, long time no see. Uh, been a little hectic trying to get Christmas stuff done and being a mom and working all the time. So, um, but I had to get I'm a little late on my Christmas cards, but I got five of them done because I did a bunch of them for a friend of mine. So I didn't really have much time to do my own personal ones. So I did five and these, um, where I got this idea from, I'm going to have the the girl's information below. She shows a tutorial on how to create these, okay? So, not my original idea. Okay, let's start with this one first. Okay, this right here, what it is, is it's one 12 by 12 sheet that is um, made into an envelope. Okay, so this is kind of like an origami type fold and it's an envelope. Okay, so this right here, I have it sealed with a little piece of lace. It's right at the bottom. I just cornered did that and I put it right up at the bottom er, at the top there. So what I did is I layered some lace right here and then I put a smaller trim right on the top, right at the edge. And I did that on both sides. And what I did is I did the one side here and then it stops. Then I did this side longer to reach to the end of this lace because if you were to do it and make it even right here, this lace and this lace would be like this and you'd have this big open gap. It would not look cute. So in order to keep it nice and flowy, that's how it looks. And I like that. I like how that came out. I'm good. So I just put some little Michaels sprays here and some little pearls. They're like a very light yellow. And um, I believe these are I Am Roses. Yes, they are I Am Roses. And this right here is Ulala Flowers from Ulala Vintage Treasures. And that's all I added. I didn't go overboard on the top part of the card, or envelope, I should say. And this is the card. So I just triple layered it. I put card stock and then the paper that I used from the same paper line. It's the DCWV that I got from Michaels. And um, it doesn't... Oh, I don't know which one it is, honestly, but it's the Elizabeth. Oh, I'm talking like a mile away, aren't I? Okay, it's the Elizabeth Brown specialty paper. I absolutely love that paper. So, anyways, and then I just stamped, um, wishing you magical holiday season. And that's it. There's nothing in the back, so plenty of writing space, and then it fits like this in here and then I quarter I uh, used corner punch right here Martha Stewart and then that's it and then there's a the little velcro and then you close it with the little velcro right here and that's it so that's one card okay, um, okay. here's the second card exact same type of fold nothing it's all wrinkled right here. It's the only thing that kind of sucks when you get these type of laces that are um, stretchy and they do the gathering on the sides. Unless you iron them down, they get all wrinkled and bunched in the middle. Not cute, but here's right here. These are little rosettes that are on here. It was part of the trim. I couldn't even begin to tell you where I got it. And then this right here, it's like a wired mesh. That came from Ulala La also. Okay, this is why... No. This is Wild Orchid Crafts right here, poinsettias. And then these are just some little beaded sprays from Michaels. These right here, I believe, are recollections. And then just some shooting pearls through here. This one right here has um, Velcro also, but you see it's the whole piece right here. Okay. So it's adhered to the back of this. Okay. And then right here also the card, the same stamp. Okay. I love this idea that she came up with with the 12 by 12. It is such a stinking cute idea. Okay. This right here is the reverse side of this. So you definitely have to use double sided paper. Okay. That's card number two. Here's card number three. I'm trying to hurry because my it's starting to get dark out. Okay, and 
These right here are just some little tiny um, puffy trim, pom-pom trim. And then an orchid, and then um, just some lace that I gathered behind this flower. These right here are some um, wheat, like little wheat leaves. I got these from the expo. little vintage button, and another little spray I have tucked behind there. And we all know this is Magnolia stamps. I did a trade with um, Ollie from Ollie Dantre on YouTube um, for um, some stuff. And then it was for um, six Magnolia stamps. And then she sent some extras. So this is my um, first Magnolia stamp. I cannot even tell you how beyond excited I am. These are not cheap stamps. So I was really excited to do the swap. So I paper pieced her dress. And everything is colored with colored pencil and mineral spirits. And um, her hair, too bad I don't have really good, what you call it, um, zoom. And, but you could, I mean, it, it's so easy to use pencils to blend it really well. Like you can't see, oh, well that stinks, but I did the blending around her face really, it looked really nice. And I can't fortunately see really clear on my camera, sorry ladies. I did stickles on her wings. This flower right here I made. I ordered from Fiona. She had like a bag of pearls, loose flat back pearls where you can make your own flowers. So I made a flower with five of those pieces and then I just put a recollections flower in the middle. And um, so it looks like she's holding that. On the original stamp, she's holding a star. So I just covered it by putting this on top. And then there's stickles, red around her star and then white here. And this is seam binding. And you wrap it around. And this part right here, I didn't tie it. You're supposed to tie it, but I knew if I tried to sit here and untie it, but you tie it and then it ties a bow right here. So it's really, really cute. And that's another way of closing it if not using, um, if you're not going to use um, Velcro. So, and this is just a border punch. Just add a little something to the inside of the card and it's adhered to the back. Okay. So then when you're done, you tie it right here, and it's super duper cute. And it's card number four. Okay, some lace, some beaded trim, some I Am Roses in the middle, and some rosebuds from I Am Roses. These are um, flowers, I believe, are recollections. And then there's some skeleton leaves. This is Recollections also. You can barely see them, but it's like a deep burgundy color that's behind that. And you see I did the crisscross thing up here too. And then this one right here. Just use a little stamp. And put it on craft, but I used the designer paper on this one also. So, whoops. Try to try to look around the card. There we go. Bam. Okay. And this has the same type of seam binding, so it needs to tie in the front, but I just didn't do it for the sake of time on the video. Okay. And then this is the last card. Okay. These are just some silk flowers that you get from the dollar store, and you just chop them off. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are some stamens that you get from... I went to Hobby Lobby for my first time ever. Oh, my gosh. It is... Well, I'll keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> It isn't as, you know, fabulous as I thought it would be. <clears throat> like when you watch all the videos, if you don't catch a sale, it's really, I prefer Michael's or Joanne's over Hobby Lobby, unfortunately. Um, but they do have a fabulous selection of trim that's really inexpensive. Even if you didn't hit the sale, seriously, it was like, a, it's still like $1.99 for a spool or $2. So, um, but that's where I got these statements because they're real chunky pearl ones. Really pretty and they're only $1.50 for like a bunch. And then I made a stick pen, and it's like a lime green color. Right here is some of that um, mesh bling, and it's in a light green. I also used this theme binding for closure also. And if you wanted to be creative, these pockets are open. You could totally, you know, if you wanted to think outside the box and do something, those are open still. Okay, and then this right here, this piece. And then this is the card that goes inside. So these are perfect to not mail. <laughs> like, try to put in the mail. And But you, if you just put it inside like a bubbled envelope or on top of a present inside of a box and mail it, these are perfect um, cards. 
So those are my five Christmas cards. Hope you ladies like it. I'm so sorry that I'm like on mega rush, but the light is starting to go down and I'm trying to hurry before it gets dark. Okay, but I will be back to show you. Um, I was involved in a stick pin swap, so I'm going to show you that in two seconds. All right, ladies, I can't wait for um, to see all your guys' other stuff. I've been having such a blast watching your guys' videos and ugh, such fabulous inspiration from all of you ladies. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for stopping by. I'll check you later. Bye, ladies.